Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Here's an update with the earthquakes that are happening there in Oklahoma. Ever since they had the magnitude 5.1 earthquake late Saturday night. The 5.1 earthquake occurred at 11.24 p.m. Um, there in the Prague area of Lincoln County. Lincoln County is where um, Billy the Kid came from. A little bit of history for you buffs there. In an attempt to mitigate the risk of more seismic activity near Prague, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission Oil and Gas Conservation Division issued a directive for a change in the operations of some oil and gas wastewater disposal wells. According to the OCC, all oil and gas wastewater disposal wells permitted to dispose into the Arbuckle formation that operate within 10 miles of the earthquake epicenter will expected to cease operations by February 17th. A unprecedented increase in seismicity rate in the United States since 2008 has largely been attributed to the large volume of wastewater disposal from oil and gas production in Oklahoma. Several significant induced earthquakes have occurred since 2011, including the 2011 magnitude 5.7 Prague earthquake, which is up over here, and the 2016 5.8 Pawnee earthquake, which would be, let me bring this up, up, let's see here, up over here. Both of which caused considerable damage in the ep epicenter regions. The 2011 magnitude 5.7 Prague earthquake sequence was the first significant earthquake sequence that has been attributed to wastewater disposal in Oklahoma, which ruptured a previously unmapped portion of the Zeta Fault Zone. It's spelled W I L Z E T T A. It actually extends pretty far down. Yeah, all the way down, probably down here to Shawnee. Two people were injured during that 2011 earthquake. Early reports indicated that Route um, 62 had buckled in three locations and that several nearby homes had major damage. And there was also numerous reports of broken windows and other minor damage uh, mostly to residents. Because of what they call the Coulomb stress, it was discovered that three separate portions of the Wilzetta fault system were activated. These were ancient faults so that they didn't know. I only got two drawn out here. Um, one is the Meeker Prague fault and the Wilzetta fault zone. Let me bring it in a little bit here so you can see it better. So just exactly what is Coulomb stress? I've talked about the moment tensor ball before. How over here would be the first indication of that 5.1 earthquake and how tension was applied going both uh, north and south. This change in stress would indicate um, the pressure going north and south indicating that earthquakes would be more likely in these two directions following this earthquake. Of all the 50 earthquakes that are listed by USGS, they have only one moment tensor ball for this series of earthquakes. But how the moment tensor balls would change over time is important to watch to know which direction um, future earthquakes could occur. And they don't have that on here. Looking at the moment tensor ball for the 2011 earthquake, this is when they discover the other fault zones. And it makes sense because here the, the earthquake was over here and tension was applied going north and also slightly southwest. And that's when they found the uh, Meeker Prague fault zone. After that earthquake occurred, they sent in 18 GPS stations and that's how they discovered these new fault zones. They're not new, they're ancient fault zones that have been reactivated because of the pressure. The pressure was induced by the disposal of the waste water. 
and it has been discovered that pressure as little as 0.1 bar, think about, you know, um, a pump to pump up your bicycle tire or a pump to uh, fill up your uh, tires. Yeah, it only takes 0.1 bars of pressure to create an earthquake. That's really little. Okay, here's another example. Pressure uh, for a boiler, for your heating system, um, your hot water heater, things like that, can be between 1 and 2 bars. Low pressure is considered 0.1 bars. 0.1 bar, which is low pressure, can induce earthquakes. Most injection wells um, use between 350 to 570 um, PS or pounds of pressure. An example, most post passenger cars have tire pressure of between 2 to 2.4 bars. Once again, a, a tire, a car tire inflated to the proper weight would be between 2.1 to 2.4 bars. And they are injecting at least 350 PSIs to 570 PSIs to push that disposal water into the ground. And it only takes 0.1 bars to create an earthquake. But they also know even after they shut down disposal wells years and years later, they still continue to cause earthquakes because the damage has already been done. The pressure is already built. And until they have another large earthquake, um, yeah, it's going to maintain that pressure. So again, looking at the moment tensor ball, you can see which direction the pressure has been pushed. Mostly to the north, but again, down um, south, where there's probably other unknown faults going in this direction. The larger earthquakes that I mapped out here was a 2.4 and a 3.5. They didn't say how long they were going to shut down these injection wells. So more than likely, they're just going to transfer that um, waste disposal water to other locations. Yeah, who knows where. Yeah, for those of you that live in Oklahoma, yeah, I can understand you not wanting to move. Yeah. The area is rich in heritage. Your families have probably lived there for a long time. You moved there because of work, possibly. You're stuck in mortgages that, yeah, you can't get out of. There was a recent article about a new homeowner in Oklahoma City who recently bought a house in a new subdivision. I'm going to go to that location. And there was a empty lot behind his property. And he asked what future developments might be for that area. Well, they came in and they put in um, some kind of oil website or oil site right behind their house. And the noise and the smell is so tremendous. And he knows that he can't sell the house, even though he just recently bought it, um, because of the sound and probably the devaluation of his property because of this um, oil and gas site there. Recently, um, he's seen a, a big tower with burning gases flaring off. So his dream home is, uh, yeah, up the creek, so to speak. I do have an address. Let me see if I can find it here on Google Maps, the location. Okay, it's a subdivision up over here. Okay. And this plot, I think it's one of these plots right in here where the oil and gas company came in and started developing, developing it. And yeah, he's not going to get back what the cost of the home is. He sent several emails to the uh, city and they told him to get in contact with the Oklahoma Corporation Commission. And the Oklahoma Corporation Commission told him um, that it was a matter for the city. Just the noise alone is above what is allowed by the city. Um, the city um, lied about the amount of noise that they're going through, let alone, let alone the, um, yeah, the toxic smells that he now has. 
so be careful when you're buying new property there in Oklahoma um, if there is empty lots near you you just don't know what's going to be developed with these oil and gas corporations yeah and if you're thinking about uh, resettling in Oklahoma boy I would reconsider it so seeing how just 10 mile area is being shut down only temporarily uh, for the gas and um, water um, disposal um, doesn't mean I don't know how long it's going to be shut down but like I said the damage has already been done and earthquakes are going to continue and why isn't USGS making it public I'm sure they're watching these earthquakes but why are they not making public uh, the moment tensor balls to see which which direction the stress may you know occur where it's going to be pushed to have more earthquakes so what are your thoughts put your comments down below what kind of damage did you have I know you guys got damaged um, some people said that they did have damage um, please put that down below please like share and subscribe and make sure you're still subscribed yeah YouTube's been unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels multiple people once they unsubscribe people they uh, take away that income um, from if they watch the videos or whatever for the advertisements please stay safe please be prepared always be prepared for a large earthquake and I'll talk to you later God bless y'all bye <music>